<clears throat> oh, I gotta delete space on my phone. Anyways, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gero. Coming at you straight from Co not Queens, Manhattan, New York, on our way to Queens with my brother. What's up? <laughs> and we had a red light, as you can tell, because my face is red. <laughs> like we're at the gates of hell. <sighs> Speaking of hell, I've been watching Supernatural. That show's still going? No. Oh. <laughs> it's on Netflix. Oh, you're, right. oh, you're, you're re watching it. Well, I've never really seen it. I only see bits and pieces. Yeah, it's still content to re watch. Okay. It's an old ass show. I know. <laughs> but it's still good. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that show was. It had its up and downs, but it was mostly up. Had its downs? Yeah, of course. It's boring sometimes. Mm. <laughs> don't when they weren't dealing with like the main story, when they were doing like side stuff oh. and it wasn't even that like life threatening, you know, it's like they're not gonna die to another random ghost. They just gotta get some iron and some salt. They're good, that's it. Move along. Oh. You know. You know, because that's how you deal with ghosts, it's iron and salt. Yeah. <laughs> Silver. That too. <laughs> yeah. Eh. It's too bad on the stuff is real. <laughs> what, you think it's real? I don't know. <laughs> no. uh, I have no concrete statement about that. <laughs> I plead the fifth just in case. <laughs> I don't need my future overlords hating me for the past dis discretions against them, against their existence. Oh <laughs> At the rate the U.S. is going, we, we might as well all start learning Chinese. I got a head start. Me, how? Oh my God. You know what I mean? No. You're like I know how much inches I have between. See, they would have stopped your way. <laughs> <laughs> crazy like the, the more you drive like the more you know the width of the car the length of the car so you can yeah I think that's what Mars is mostly afraid of because like she has a hard time seeing like past you know she's short uh, you know yeah and then like she got a like a little <laughs> I mean it's basically a booster seat <laughs> <laughs> But she she oh, says she don't she don't want to use it because like it for some reason it helps her reach the pedals better and then like she's already used to like holding her feet down a certain way so like if she holds it down that same way she'll be holding it down further than what she's used to so she'll be going faster than what she's used to that's good so she don't want to go faster <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't you know I don't understand sometimes but. I don't question it because I'm not a driver at all, so it's whatever. You should learn, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. No, but I was saying yeah. that the US is gonna have to start learning Mandarin, Chinese, because of uh, how weak our leadership looks. <gasps> what did Putin say about Biden? Putin basically was like, yo, you know what? Um, I think it will be really interesting um, for the people of Russia and for the people of America if uh, me and Biden here have a live this, uh, a debate, let's call it. Um, but not, you know, not not stage and all that. You know, just some, I think you guys call it live? A live debate? Yeah, 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 one of those. Let's do one of those. Right, but I don't want to like wait too long either. You know, Monday, Tuesday is good for me. You know, whenever it's most comfortable for you guys. You know what I mean? You know, I don't want to. I don't want to pressure you into anything. <laughs> Basically, calling calling out Biden to a debate and. Is she going to ruin? Oh my god! <laughs> you know, Trump was down, but of course Biden was able. Yeah, I mean, Biden was, <laughs> Biden didn't campaign. <laughs> My man, how many states did he, did he actually visit? Two? Aside from the state that he was in? Three, maybe? <laughs> how many rallies did he have? 
<laughs> so I don't know. Like Biden pretty pretty much got called out by Putin by Vladimir. In Russia, debate has you. <laughs> Um, That's good. We should want that, right? Yeah, but you know, you, you got Biden over here tripping over the stairs to Air Force One. How you fall oh. up the stairs? How you fall up the stairs? Oh, stumbling. Get My man fell up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that that's literally the Democrats right now. They they keep they keep fumbling and tumbling, right? But somehow, some way, they manage to still keep climbing the ladder in all these different type of you know organizations, just winning offices and seats everywhere, even though they're like just pulling a Biden. <laughs> and it's like, come on, man. Come on, man. That's a Biden thing. Come on, man. <laughs> Uh, and then, and it's funny too how you don't see you don't see none of that. Like you see it online from the memesters and all that, but you don't see it in in regular news. They know they don't they don't cover any mistake or fumble that Biden does at all. They act like it don't exist. But when Trump was not, he, Trump didn't even like fall. He just he was just walking slow because it was a down. He was going down a ramp, so he was walking slow. Why? Because he didn't want to fumble and stumble like a moron on on TV, right? But and they still went after him for that. They're like, oh, he looks so he looks so weak. Is, 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 is his mental state okay? Is he getting too old for office? That's what they were saying when Trump was in office. <laughs> Now you got Biden doing worse, <laughs> but they don't say nothing. They don't say nothing. Oh, on the turns table. <laughs> no, man. That sounds like a Bush thing. <laughs> Bush was the master of getting sayings wrong. <laughs> Biden just forgets everything. Trump is just an a-hole. <sighs> Even China fucking freaking called us out. Uh, they were having a meeting. I forgot what it was. All about Alaska, right? What? Was it about Alaska? No, no, no. It was um. I forgot who it was, but basically, we were calling them out on their human rights transgressions to to not only their people but like the Uyghurs and the Muslim people in their in their country and then China was like it's like yeah we're working on we, we've come a long way in terms of human rights but the US needs to handle your transgressions against human rights because it's not as if your transgressions with things like Black Lives Matter, uh, you know, have have, and <laughs> have been sorted out. And the guy that was representing the U.S. was like, "Yeah, you know, we're still, you know, we're we're, we're still uh, we're making our way towards a, a more perfect union." It's like, <laughs> see, that's one. Of, that's one of the ways that you can kind of tell that like these ideologies on the left are are just weak because literally anybody can take them and use them against you you know okay. huh? oh, this truck is open what? No. it's not open it, it, it's being held down okay. <laughs> you know you don't see that whatever they're carrying is, is too big for their car that's what they get for getting on a little tiny car. <laughs> you know? You got a little tiny car, but your lifestyle isn't little tiny car lifestyle. <laughs> you have a regular car lifestyle. That's why you have shit sticking out your trunk with little tension wires holding your trunk down. <laughs> that's called wrong life decisions. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like one of their, like probably was like their dream car or something. 
Like, I have to buy it. But my life. <laughs> That's why you need an everyday car and a once in a while car. Everyday car and fantasy car. What that <laughs> Left Rack City. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. So, yeah, I mean, there was this. Uh, this speech, not even a speech, it was, it was an interview by this Russian dude. It was like an American dude interviewing a Russian dude. They were like, the Russian dude was like ex Soviet Union, freaking like high up, you know. So he, he, you know, he knows the deal. This was like back in the freaking like 60s, I think. And uh, basically, he was talking about how. The way to like take over a country, like it, it's not through like war and you know invasion anymore. It's it's subversion, you know. So they have to like de demoralize and destabilize the country first. What's going on? What is this? Is that an escort? like lumber a lot of lumber yeah they definitely have an escort going that's funny why is there so much congestion here yeah people don't want to pass it <laughs> maybe you weren't supposed to pass it <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I think there was too much supernatural I mean not supernatural um, Final destination. <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna die. Something's gonna snap, and then the load is gonna come flying off of the back of the truck. And it's gonna impale you through your chest. So that's why you overtake it. You stay behind it. You gotta go past it. Yeah, everybody's super scared of passing by. Because there is no traffic now. I know. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, like you have to like. Kind of implant the the Marxist and Leninist viewpoints slowly over decades into the school system first, and then from there it'll propagate into the into the uh, into the, the public. And he's talking about people doing this specifically to America. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like everything that he was saying basically is exactly what we see going on now yes. where we see you know like it's just so much demoralization and division you know just, uh, um, so like it was, I don't know he seemed to he seemed to basically much spill the beans on you know what was happening and what is happening and, but people don't want to pay attention that's the one thing is like what people call like being red pilled. It's literally just if you hear the if you hear people that have been red pilled, quote unquote, it always starts with, well, I decided to do my own research. <laughs> I decided to look it up on my own. I decided I decided to do some homework. You know, it's like it always starts with I decided to not just believe the information that is being fed to me. That's always how it starts. It, it always just takes a little bit of self uh, reflection, self responsibility, just a little bit of initiative to just look it up yourself. And then from there, <laughs> from there they just kind of figured out that everybody is, you know, pretty much BSing all the time. But you can't say that out loud, apparently. <laughs> it's just sad, you know, like. Okay. He's in a bigger rush than you are. You see. <laughs> I hate it when, when, when I'm him, but the, for me, like, this position was be 
speed up instead of slowing down. <laughs> I'm like, you, you get you get challenged instead of <laughs> instead of them like just letting you have it. They challenge you. You're like, come on, man. <laughs> Why are you speeding up too? <laughs> I, I, I did, um, well, I listened to the um, um, Joe Rogan podcast as well. Uh, it's, it's a recent one, I forget. I think it's, it's something Mar. His, his last name is Mar. But he seemed, he seemed like like one of those guys, you know, that, that don't fall for bull, bullshit and, you know, will but believe what he wants to believe and questions everything, right? And that's what he was saying. He was saying too. Uh, what leads to the fall of a civilization is when, yeah, when, when your countries lean towards Marxism and all that stuff. And he said he spoke to a, a teacher. I, I, I don't know from which um, you know field of, of study he was in, but he said that every, every time when a civilization is about to end, um, they the, the the people started to believe in um, gender. Fluidity, whatever it's called, mm -hmm. and how you know uh, the the male starts believing that he he he's a female and the females don't believe that they're male, and 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 that starts being be accepted in society, and, and somehow whatever civilization is is going towards that direction, that that that, that would lead to a, the fall of a civilization like that. Right. Because right. that's what happened in Rome and um, in, in Greece and. Over there too, well not well, especially in Rome, Greece and uh, like you know Athens and Sparta. That could, right, that Asian civilization. The Asian, yes, yes. That's that's what, that's what they're, they're going, they were going, they're leaning, leaning towards too. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> right, yeah. It's like the the whole idea that you know that that everything, including gender, is a social construct. You know that. And because everything's a social construct, you know, everybody just can decide what it is that they want to be. You know, so. But the problem with that, the social con social constructionist theory, is that, you know, biology is real. You can't claim to be a 12 year old little girl if you're a 45 year old man. Like, it's, it just doesn't. <laughs> and it's happened. That's it's the thing. It's, it's actually happened. There was a there was a, a mid midlife dude, middle aged dude, that left his wife and kids to pursue his feelings of being a twelve year old little girl. He dressing up with ponytails and all. So yeah. that's crazy. You know what's also crazy? You can't. Or look like, at Rachel Dolezal. White, white as white can be. But no, she black though. Don't she black it. though. Don't she black though. Don't say it. You know what's also crazy? You can't claim to be a man when you're a eight year old girl or a five year old girl. I feel like I'm a man. And then, and then, um, how the adults will help. Oh my goodness, well, everybody's, everybody's traveling fast tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> everybody's taking advantage <laughs> of the road. And of course, like, everybody's saying, to you, like, you feel like a man? Let's change your gender while you're five years old or whatever and give you hormones so you can change that gender. Yeah, that's a ridiculous notion. And then when you get older, you feel like, wait, I don't really feel that way. I feel like I'm a girl. <laughs> then what happens? You like <laughs> you know, and then one of the things that's even worse is that we have stories of people that went through just that, that regretted early transitions, right? Prepubescent transitions, and when they tell their stories, you know what happens to those books? What happens to those articles? Right? They get banned as hate speech. And they don't get sold. They don't get distributed. They don't get shared, right? Because it's hateful to share those type of stories. To uh, it's to it's hateful to the transgender community. You know. So because the only thing that you can say about transitioning is that it's a good thing, even though 
in the reality, in the real world, there are both positive and negative stories that should both be considered when taking into account these type of issues. You know, the problem with the left currently is that they are dogmatic, they are cultish. They say everything that they say is correct, and if you oppose them, it's because you're a big, uh, almost a uh, whole, uh, what's it called? Bigot, racist, homophobic, homophobic, homophobic yes. Islamophobic, xenophobic, or you know, all the phobics and isms that you could be. Yeah. If you disagree with any 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 viewpoint on the left, that's ex that's automatically what you are, you know. As Hillary Clinton called it, Donald Trump's basket of deplorables. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally that's what she said in one of her speeches. Oh, you know, Hillary Clinton tripped too, somewhere. Huh? Hillary Clinton, she's... Yeah, I mean, I mean, tripping over over the Air Force thing isn't that big of a deal. The pro the thing that made it a bigger deal is that um, they used to rag on Donald whenever he acted, you know, like in a careful, in a careful manner. Mm -hmm. But now that Biden's doing the exact same shit, they don't want to say nothing. The vulnerable standard is real. That's it. I'm home. That's it for the video. This was actually shorter than last time, even though you weren't trying to speed. <laughs> Accidental. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.